So today I'm working on this 1998 Chevrolet Express van. Uh, when I was driving the vehicle at speeds over 50 miles per hour, uh, the vehicle was jumping uh, a lot on the road. Uh, you could feel a lot of vibration uh, in the passenger compartment uh, in the seats. And so a lot of people think, well, it might be uh, a component of the suspension system, but generally when you've got uh, a jumping like that or a shimmy that you feel within the passenger compartment, a lot of times it can be a tire that's either out of balance or cupped or something else is going on with the tire. So, so when you're checking your tires, you want to just make a visual inspection of everything. You want to make sure that your, your, the integrity of your sidewall looks good, that you don't see any metal showing there, uh, that you don't have any dry rot uh, on the, the sides of the tires. And you can see that the tire here is just very pliable. The rubber looks good. Uh, the treads, the treads got quite a bit of wear in it, as you can see. The tread depth's not great, but you also want to take your hand and you want to feel along the surface of it for any any cum, cupping or or bulging uh, on the tread of the tire there. So on this particular tire, I felt around multiple times um, along the tread. And didn't feel anything until I got I got uh, pricked with a little piece of metal um, toward the back side of the the tire tread here, and when I felt in there, I found that uh, that the tire had separated um, in between some of the inner inner uh, treads. So I'm going to remove this tire, and we're going to take a look at so it. So anytime I'm going to take a tire off, I always uh, before I I jack up the vehicle. I go ahead and break all the, the lug nuts uh, while the vehicle's still on the ground. I loosen them up and then I jack the vehicle up and then I remove the, the lug nuts the rest of the way and then remove the tire. Um, this particular lug nut wrench uh, has, has two parts to it. It's got a shaft there with the, uh, basically the socket end. And then you've got this uh, ratcheting uh, handle here that that uh, fits in there and completes it so uh, I'll remove these lug nuts and then see what we have all right so I've uh, jacked the vehicle up um, underneath the frame and I've also got a jack stand under it and once you do that and remove uh, the lug nuts the tire will come off now you'll see here and looking at it, uh, yeah, I've definitely got some tread wear, but uh, the tire still appears to have some life left in it. But when I rotate the, the tire around, you'll see what I felt there when I put my hand up in there. So even though some of the tread appears to be okay, this is an accident waiting to happen here with that tire separation. You can see the belt there. Got lucky. Um, I didn't wait on this. As soon as I, I felt the vehicle jumping out on the road there, when I felt that that shimmy and vibration in, in the passenger compartment and the seats, I took action to inspect the tire and this is what my inspection found. So, uh, the rule here is that if you if you feel any vibration, if you feel any jumping in the vehicle, look to the tires first, uh, balance, surface issues, separation, things like this. But please do not wait. Uh, if you feel that jumping, go ahead as soon as you uh, as soon as you can, stop the vehicle, and inspect your tires and and don't be. Uh, just casual with it. Really feel around on them. Uh, if it's dark, get a flashlight, inspect the surface, make sure because if a tire like this goes out, you're going to lose control of that vehicle and potentially uh, get into an accident there. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.